your Maddox. I'm your biggest fan. For over 20 years, I've run one of the longest running humor sites on the internet. I've published books, worked on TV shows, and even video games. Along the way, I've met thousands of fans. Most of them have been awesome, but some, unfortunately, have become obsessed and tried to get into my personal life. This is the story of what happens when fans become stalkers. Maddox and that. Oh, Maddox. Maddox is Maddox. 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 By now, it may seem obvious that this stalker is deeply obsessed. So when I rejected him, something in him on a deeper psychological level seems to have snapped. As crazy as this sounds, there is actually a precedent for it. The pop singer Selena was killed by her biggest fan. Yolanda Saldivar, one of her biggest fans, reached out to her one day wanting to work with her, but the fan soon became obsessed and started doing shady things with the bookkeeping. And then when Selena cut ties with her, she lost her mind and snapped. She sought out Selena in 1991. Prosecutor Carlos Valdez pieced together a motive. The defendant had wrapped up her whole life uh, around uh, Selena Quintanilla Perez. Her whole world was walking out the door and she wouldn't stand for it, so she shot her. So by now you're probably thinking, yeah, Selena was killed by her biggest fan, but Fanboy wouldn't actually do that. Would he? This is the part where his obsession takes an even darker turn. On January 26, 2018, Fanboy bought a gun and posted a photo of it calling it anti-Maddox protection, even though I've never threatened him and haven't even spoken to him in over half a decade. And then he posed with another gun while wearing a shirt with a reference to my book that he attacked, all while his followers openly suggested that he aim it at me. And when somebody asked if the shirt was a reference to my book, he didn't deny it, and he only said that he needed to talk to his lawyer first. So, despite having never threatened him, cutting old ties, and not even talking to or about him, he suddenly and preemptively bought a gun to allegedly protect himself from me. Now, you might be thinking that somebody who's made such a strong, declarative public statement that they feel so threatened that they would have to buy a gun to protect themselves from that person would then go out of their way to avoid running into that person, right? Well, not when it comes to this stalker. In fact, he did the exact opposite. In July of 2019, Fanboy heard that I might be attending a video conference called VidCon, so he went there to seek me out. In fact, he heard I might be going to a house party with some friends, so he made a point to go there. So this person who is so allegedly afraid of me to the point where he bought a gun specifically to use against me, goes out of his way looking for a confrontation. Fanboy had never been to VidCon before, even when I personally invited him in the past. And he doesn't produce original YouTube content, nor is he a fan of YouTube. He went there specifically looking for me, and if you have any doubt, he even showed up wearing a shirt with my name on it. This isn't the behavior of someone who's allegedly afraid. This is the behavior of an obsessed stalker who's looking for a confrontation. His obsession is all-consuming, and it's especially troubling when the person is inciting a hate mob week after week for over five years. I'm sure Selena never thought that a fan would try to kill her, until a fan did. And the message hasn't gone unnoticed. For example, his hate mob has openly discussed flying out to LA to kill me, and his creepy followers have even discussed putting a hit on me on his subreddit. When these warning signs aren't taken seriously, they can sometimes have tragic consequences, like this podcaster who was killed by her stalker. Police ignored many of the same warning signs and patterns of behavior. And Reddit has allowed this subreddit to repeatedly dox, brigade, and incite violence on their platform. And this threat was posted not long after Fanboy's gun threat. You can't publicly declare that you feel threatened by someone, and then go out of your way to try to run into them. 